We will learn all the relevant medical information concerning coronary artery disease, or CAD, in this video. Globally, coronary heart disease, or CHD, is a leading cause of death, ischemic heart disease or IHD in coronary artery disease or CAD, are other names for it. When plaque, a waxy substance, accumulates inside the coronary arteries, which carry blood to the heart muscle, problems arise. Years may pass before the blood flow is blocked, yet it will eventually result in a heart attack or failure. Plaque, a mixture of cholesterol, fat, and other chemicals, begins to adhere to the blood vessel walls as early as childhood. Atherosclerosis is the term used by doctors to describe how it accumulates over time and causes arteries to become harder and narrower. In some cases, plaque can break or rupture. As a result, blood cells called platelets will try to repair the artery, forming a blood clot. This deposit hinders the free flow of blood through the arteries, much like muck in a clogged drain pipe. The heart receives nourishment and oxygen through the blood. Lack of it can cause angina, a disorder characterized by chest pain and shortness of breath. The heart can weaken if it does not get enough oxygen. This may result in arrhythmia, a term used to describe an erratic heartbeat. Moreover, it can result in heart failure, which is the inability of the heart to adequately pump blood throughout the body to satisfy needs. You may experience a heart attack if a plaque enlarges to the point where it obstructs blood flow to the heart muscle. Yet, the smaller plaques that rupture are typically the cause of heart attacks. What are the symptoms of coronary artery disease? Early on, you might not have any symptoms, but when the plaque thickens and restricts blood flow to the heart muscle, you can start to feel tired or short of breath, especially when you exercise. Chest pain, often known as angina, is the most typical sign of coronary artery disease. Some individuals mistake it for indigestion or heartburn. Your chest may feel uncomfortable if you have angina. The feeling could also be felt in your jaw, shoulders, arms, or back. This feeling may be in the form of tightness, discomfort, pressure, heaviness, squeezing, burning, aching, numbness or fullness. What increases my risk of developing coronary artery disease? The risk factors for coronary artery disease include aging, smoking, alcoholism, obesity, stress, depression, diabetes mellitus, family history, unhealthy diet, high blood pressure, and high blood levels of cholesterol and triglycerides. What are diagnostic procedures in coronary artery disease? Electrocardiogram, often known as ECG or EKG, is the first diagnostic test and records the electrical activity of your heart. The second diagnostic process is the exercise stress test. It analyses your heart activity as you walk on a treadmill. This aids in predicting how your heart will function when required to pump more blood during activity. The echocardiogram, also referred to as an echo, is the third diagnostic technique that employs ultrasound waves to provide a picture of the heart. The fourth diagnostic procedure is coronary angiogram which monitors blockage and flow up of blood through the coronary arteries by using X-ray to detect dye injected via cardiac catheterization. The fifth diagnostic test is a computed tomography, or CT, scan of the coronary arteries that looks for calcium and plaques. Cardiac catheterization is another diagnostic procedure, which checks the inside of your arteries for blockage by inserting a thin, flexible tube through an artery in the groin or neck to reach the heart. In any case of coronary artery disease, we must perform blood tests such as cardiac enzymes, serum cholesterol and triglycerides, and blood sugar. How is the coronary artery disease treated? The four lines of treatment must be followed. The first line involves lifestyle modifications, the second line involves managing risk factors, the third line involves drugs, and the fourth line involves procedures and surgeries. A healthy lifestyle includes cutting back on alcohol and smoking, avoiding stress, and eating a diet low in sodium, sugar, and saturated fat. Controlling blood sugar, blood pressure, cholesterol, and triglycerides are all part of managing risk factors. 
aspirin and other anti-clotting medications, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, statins, and nitroglycerin are among the medicines utilized. The major treatment for coronary artery disease is angioplasty, which does not require opening up the chest and can widen or unblock clogged arteries. Via your blood vessels, a doctor performs angioplasty by guiding a thin, flexible tube with a balloon into the blocked artery. The balloon is then inflated by the doctor, stretching the artery open to allow more blood to flow. To maintain the blood channel open, a small tube known as a stent is frequently implanted as well. The main surgery used for treatment of coronary artery disease is coronary artery bypass grafting, commonly called CABG. During this surgery, doctors use blood vessels from other parts of your body to make a detour around blockages in your coronary arteries. In the end, if you liked this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates. Goodbye!